Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will discuss these four topics here. Number one is to use the WAMP server as our server software to run PHP program. And then where do we write our PHP program? So we need code editors here and the IDE. And then right after writing our program, we have to save the program, PHP program, and then we have to test our PHP program using browser and WAMP server. But before that, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so, like I said a while ago, these are the topics that I'm going to discuss in this tutorial video. The first one is the WAMP server. So we have to make sure that in your computer, you already have the WAMP server with you and that this software is the server software that can run PHP program. Okay, so if you would like to create or design a PHP program, then WAMP server is the software that you need so that you can test your PHP program. So I already have a video about this wherein I have discussed there how to install the WAMP server. And if you try to visit this channel, it is there uh, how to install WAMP server. So you can watch this so that you will have a better understanding on how to install the WAMP server because this WAMP server is needed every time you run a PHP file or program. So I have discussed here in detail how to install the WAMP server. The next is we must have an editor or code editor. These are software or program where we can write our PHP program. So example of that will be Notepad. Okay, Notepad is already available in your computer if you have Windows operating system in your computer. So you just have to open this Notepad and you can start writing PHP program right there. An advanced version of the Notepad is the Notepad++, but this one you have to download this from the internet. It is available in the internet. You can just search Notepad++ and you can just download from there. Also the NetBeans. Basically, this NetBeans, it is used for Java programming, but you can also use NetBeans in writing PHP program. Again, just like Notepad++, this is also a free software where you can download it from the internet and install it into your computer. Also, there is Microsoft Expression Web 4, wherein it allows you to design a page and at the same time, it allows you to insert PHP script or program. So this is the software that I am telling you. Uh, you can just download this also again. This is from Microsoft. You can download this from the internet and install it. This is very easy to install. All you need to do is to follow the steps during installation process. This is the software that I'm going to use uh, with all the tutorial video that I'm going to uh, design or create about PHP programming. There are so many applications also or IDE available in the internet. So some are not using this, some are using this. Okay, these four here, but these are the four that I have right now. So uh, I can just choose any one of these to write a PHP program. So some programmers, they don't use this, okay, because based on preference, they, they like a different IDE or code editor. So it's just a matter of reference. What is important is that the code is correct and you know how to run it. That is what is important. I'm going to show to you first how to write a PHP program using the notepad. So I'm going to open my notepad here. Let's see. And let's try to create a simple PHP. Okay. So all PHP codes should start with less than sign question mark PHP and it should end with question mark greater than sign and 
then inside will be your PHP script. So I'll just going to make it simple by displaying hello world. Echo is the function to write or display string or anything onto your screen and that is the echo function. So now the question is where do we save this? So like I said, since we are using WAMP server, we have to save this in the drive C WAMP64 and inside this will be www. By the way, the WAMP64 will be there if you already have the WAMP server software, if it is already installed. If it is not installed, this WAMP64 will not be there. So you have to install first WAMP server. My WAMP server is already running. Okay, it is already installed and so it is right here. So you just have to make sure that it is green in color. Otherwise, if it is not green in color, so there is something wrong in or during the installation. So you have to make sure that it is green and to test it, you have to click it and you have to select localhost. There you go. So it should be something like this. So if you see something like this, as soon as you click the localhost and it should be running perfectly, all you need to do is to test your program. Okay, but before that, let's go back to our program here. So we have to save it in the WAMP64 folder. So again, this one will be there if you have the WAMP server software. Without the WAMP server software, again, this, this one will not be there. You don't need to create this. WAMP server will create it for you. And so it should be inside the WW as well. Okay, so, so C, WAMP64, WWW. This is the default folder for saving your PHP program. Now, in order to manage perfectly or correctly your files, uh, it will be better if you will create a folder inside your www folder so that you will have a better management of your files. Okay, for example, you have one project, so you have to create a folder for that, and another project, you have to create another fol folder for that. So in this case, I'm just going to create a folder. I'm going to say PHP examples. Okay, so I'm going to save everything here in this folder here. Okay, so it's like that. So I'm going to save this one now in the PHP example folder. So I'm going to save it. I am using a notepad plus plus. So I'm going to select all files and then I'm just going to say test one. Test one.php. Okay, so I'm going to save it there. www.164 and then www here and PHP examples here and save. Okay, so it's going to be like that. So again, because I'm just using a notepad software, so I'm going to mention .php, file name .php, and then I have to select all files as type. Okay, so all files. So I'm going to click save now, and that's it. It's already saved as a PHP program. You will know that it is a PHP program because when you visit your folder, you will see here in the type column, it is a PHP script file. So you are sure that it is a PHP program now. So the file name of this is test1.php. So how do we test this? To test this, all you need to do is to So I just put it there. So to test this, you have to make sure you type localhost and then slash the name of your folder, which is PHP examples. Okay, slash and then the file name of the PHP file, which is test1.php. And so when you hit enter now, there you go. Our hello world is there. So as you can see right here. Okay, so again, if you are just going to write a simple PHP program, then you can just use Notepad software to write your PHP code. And then just test, just like what I already mentioned to you in this 
tutorial video, you just have to run and test it using the browser. Okay. You can also run this on any other browser. In this case, this browser that I'm using is Edge, Microsoft Edge. I can also run this one in, let's say, uh, Google Chrome. See, for example, here, I'm, going, I'm just going to paste it here and enter. So you see it is running right, right now. If you would like to go to the local host itself, okay, it is also possible. Here it is. This is the WAMP server. Alright. So again, you can just go directly to your folder. Okay, so PHP examples. Then the name of your program, which is test1.php. There you go. So this is how we run a PHP program. Alright? So whatever browser you're going to use, even if it, if, if it is uh, Firefox, it will be the same. Just you have to type your address here. Just get your address here and just paste it in the Firefox URL bar. Right? So it's something like that. So this is just Notepad. Okay? You can also use Notepad++. So for example, I'm just going to copy this. Let me open my Notepad++. Let's say here, here you go. So this one, just I'm going to say like this. So for example, from Notepad++. Plus plus. So, so I just wanted to print hello world and then from Notepad++ plus plus on the next line. So it's like this. So I'm going to save this. Again, where do we save this? We have to save this in C, WAMP64, WW, W, and then the folder where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it here in PHP examples. I'm going to call it as test2.php. And then you have to make sure that it is all types. You can also select PHP here. Again, this is Notepad++. So there is PHP file here. There you go, this one here. All right. But to make it a little bit faster, instead of finding for this type, you can just select all types there. It will be at the first, all types. And you have to make sure that it is .php. Whatever name, and then .php. So I'm going to test it. I'm going to uh, save it as test2.php. So I'm going to save now. So if you want to test it now, so go back to your browser and you can just type the file name. There you go. Test2.php. I'm going to enter now. There you go. So this is from the Notepad. Alright. So it's like that. So again, a simple PHP program, you can just write it using Notepad or the Notepad. Or you can also use your web expression. Okay, so Microsoft Expression Web. All right. So here, so for example, okay, I'm going to close this one first so that you will see how to create. To create here a PHP program, all you need to do is to create file new PHP. All right. So there you go. So this one will appear. And so you can write now here. So for example, so something like this. So PHP. There you go. This is the first, again, no, this is the first thing that you need to write a PHP program. So you have to write greater than, less than sign, by the way, less than sign, question mark PHP, and then question mark greater than sign. So inside now will be your PHP codes. So anything inside now, okay, inside this will be your PHP code. So in this case, it is echo hello world. Okay, so this is from, so I'm going to say here, this is from web expression, MS expression. Okay, so when you save this one now, going to press Control s i press Control s by the way so you have to save it again in c 164 
www and then in the folder where you want to save it okay so it's going to be like that and I'm going to test or I'm going to save this as test3.php and you have to make sure the save as type again it is all types okay or you can say php file here all right so I'm just going to select all files but make sure that the extension is .php and then I'm going to save so again, to test this, you have to go to your browser. In this case, I am using Microsoft Edge. So I'm just going to type here, test3.php. Again, initially it is localhost. After localhost slash, you have to type your PHP folder. In this case, it is PHP folder because that is where we save our program, right? So as you can see here, PHP examples from C, POM64, www, and then PHP examples. So in this folder, so the same here. So examples, and then the name of your file, test3.php. And so it is like that. So as you can see, all our files, this one was created in Notepad, this one in Notepad++, and then this one in Expression Web 4 or Microsoft Expression Web 4. So, this is how we run a simple PHP program. So, I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one.